In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Closure Library in your ASP.NET MVC projects. First, go to plover.org. Plover is a tool that includes the Closure Library, a compiler, templates, and a web server that lets you link to it for development. Download that to iDrive Plover directory. Let's rename it something simple. Let's create an external tool to run that. What it's going to do is it takes a configuration file and serves you the JavaScript as web pages on a separate port. So let's add a new tool called Plover Serve. actually running the Java executable you have to have the Java runtime installed 6 and we're going to run that jar file we just downloaded it's going to operate on a specific item so we use the full item path and we start it in the directory of the item use the output window and we'll see the errors down here and apply Okay, let's create our new project. ASP on the MVC3. Let's leave the defaults. Here we go. You probably know the default is the home controller and index action, so let's create that. and add a view. We'll not be using a layout or master page, although you can easily put the code in there for that. Okay, now to use Plover, we'll create a configuration script, we'll create a new folder, add a new JScript item for the configuration script, call it example config. Now you have to look at the Plover website to find the format for this, but basically it's JSON where you pass parameters to the Plover program. We have an ID, just call it example. It's JSON formatted, you can't add comments, but there's no real need to. We give it inputs. We're going to create an example.js file in a minute. paths to allow it to serve any file in that path so be careful not to put anything in that plover directory you don't want to have everybody access to but actually when we move to production we're going to use the compiled version so we won't even be running plover anymore and you can add other things like an externs file and see the plover documentation for that can save that now let's create our example.js file We need to provide a namespace. And there can be required statements for parts of the library you want to use. And use JSDoc to decorate your uh, properties and methods. I'm going to create a say hello method. just going to alert you with a whatever name you pass it.
Now there's one parameter we can denote here. Give it the type. And the closer compile will verify anytime you call this that you're passing a string. If you're not, it'll throw a compiler error warning. Okay, now we have the config selected. Go to Tools and Plover Serve. Oh, I forgot an argument. Now this brings up another point. Your files by default are saved with byte order mark, which Clojure and Plover can't handle. So what you do is go to File, Advanced Saved Options, and change the encoding to Western European Windows. Fine. Do the JavaScript too. Save them. Now let's try that again. There we go. You see the Plover is running a service listening on port 9810. So what we do is we link to a script in our page from the Plover service. The ID is the ID we specified in the config file. Let's use mode equals raw, which will operate by adding each of the individual closure library files you require as a separate script tag. It's easiest for debugging. The other options are simple, which will leave all the names the same but get rid of white space, and advanced, which will try to compress every property and function name that you have. Let's use verbose mode and pretty print which doesn't do anything for raw but when we compile later for debugging purposes this will at least format the JavaScript so you can tell what's going on. Let's test that out. Okay, I must have made a typo. Oh, ID is a perimeter. And there we go.